I've got one of these things. I've been riding it the second surf. I totally love it, man. Mate, where did you come from, Shane? I just thought I'd pop in and I seen you had this board on the rack and I just had to have a touch of it. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you to it. See you later. Welcome back to another episode of Woolly TV and today we're checking out the Firewire Rob Machado Glazer. So I grabbed the 5.8, um, we got a whole bunch of these come through the shop, I've unpacked them and put the 5.8 under my arm, I've had a really good look at it, first I thought, well this thing's a little bit like a Hypto Crypto from um, Hayden, but a lot different in the bottom curve and the contours, it's got, you can see it's got this nice concave running through it, I want to get in the water and go and give it a go. Yew! It's a hot day I'm hanging in the sunshine You should hit me with the splash gun So I cool down Won't you come on over We can party till the sun's down Baby, let me buy you a drink While we're dancing to blink I could go for some queen bee too Bass is going boom So the Glazer, as I said, 36.1 in a 5.8, this one. My last board I tried was the uh, twice baked, which was limited to the size of the surf that we had to um, that we had to surf it in to demo it correctly. This one's a bit more of an all-rounder. I sort of thought that it was going to be a bit harder to ride in really small stuff, and then I just wasn't sure what was going to happen. Looking at the Glazer, I've got one of these things. I've been riding it the second surf. I totally love it, man. Mate, where did you come from, Jay? I just thought I'd pop in and I seen you had this board on the rack and I just had to have a touch of it. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you to it. See you later. <laughs> that was Shane. He got one too. He's riding the... What size are you riding, mate? I got a 5.6, 32 liters. 5.6. 
Well, Shane, you stay over there. We're going to do this over here. Anyway, I found it in really small surf. I could generate speed. It had a lot of squirt off the takeoff. Uh, but I also rode it on a bigger day at one of the reef breaks around here too, where I was really unsure what I was going to do. I ended up putting in a set of solid glass fins in it just to give it a little bit more hold. Um, and it, they responded quite well. It's really short for me, a 5.8, because I'm almost 6, six one and a half, six two. So it kind of feels tiny when I pick it up. So to ride big surf on that was, um, I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but it worked really well. Really good on my backhand, smaller board, punchy little lefts, you can get really snappy on it. And then on the rights, I found a lot of flow. I think it's got a lot to do with the, the, the wider nose doesn't seem to catch so much and the pulled in round tail makes it really versatile, but it's also got like a forward V running into quite a deep concave, double concave through the tail of the board, which so gives you a lot of acceleration and seems to help you generate speed. I had no dramas of it sliding out. I managed to surf it forehand, it went really well. I got a hang of it on this little right hand beachy. I had a good surf on it on one of the reef breaks and got it going on the bigger stuff, um, you know, in the sort of four or five foot range. So yeah, big thumbs up for this one for me. It was actually a little bit of a surprise. So well done, Rob Machado, you've done well. Not only do I like your hairstyle, but I'm, I'm digging this board. Anyway, I liked the feel of the glazer. So do yourself a favour, have a go on one. Go to your local surf shop and see if you can demo one because they do go really well. It's a bit of a surprise for a shape that looks like that there, a little bit of a baked bean. You don't have to be Rob Machado to surf good on this one. It actually is a, a good little all-rounder. Thanks for watching another episode of Woolly TV. Make sure you subscribe. There's plenty of boards coming on through. Yeah.